for a skillful attempt at that race there. Right, I'm just going to create a quick highlight here for the purposes of YouTube. Won't be a moment. Nearly there. Okay, let's go for uh, a little bit more here now before we uh, finish up today on the stream. So I was just creating some clip highlights then so I can get a bit of a let's play going for this series for those that haven't watched the live stream. And it's just, we're going to start actually now by uh, visiting the arcade section where we can do various bits and bobs. So I'm just trying to figure out or remember exactly how it is that we get there. If we run along here, which was the way that we raced him? It wasn't this way, was it? Uh, was it? It could have been. Thinking that it was. Let's just grab some of these bits on the way. The quills. There's 200 to collect in every level. Uh, apparently, somebody in the stream, Connie, told us. But we also need to make sure we get enough for the moves to unlock. We need one more for the next move. I'm not going to go in there just yet, actually. I am going to try and stay on track with what it is that I plan to do. So we can actually purchase a new move now that we've collected this one. See if we can grab these other two as well. While we are close to them. Although this sliding ramp makes things a lot trickier than it needs to be. Go! Yay, we got them. Just nip up the bridge as well. Thirty-five, that says. Making sure there's nothing that I'm missing around here. Try and grab these. We could have got them on the race, but... Obviously we were focusing on winning then more than anything else. Not going down there just yet. Uh, yes we are. Look at that, a nice play button, an arcade style play button. Can't seem to reach it though, unless we can jump up here. Yeah we can. So we get the play coin there. And so now we're looking for an NPC. And if we go on one of these stone walls, we might be able to find him, I believe. Just check there's nothing around here that we can loot. 
try not to fall off if at all possible. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, that's where we're going, look. Go away. Oh, I've never even tried the multiplayer, actually, Fabian. I've heard that the multiplayer in ukulele is not very good. You have one person controlling uh, Laylee or something, don't you? They're controlling Yuki. But they can't do anything except collect butter butterflies. Which I guess is a bit annoying, isn't it? So look at that, we have the giant arcade machine here. And there's quite a few mini games in that that we can get engaged in. How strange, this music sounds somewhat familiar to me. So this is going to unlock our first arcade minigame, and it's a bit of a tricky one, actually. <laughs> when is that Sephiroth? So there's actually two pages we can get from this first arcade game we're about to engage in here. Oh no, don't fall down there. Right, don't talk to him. There we go. So this is a racing game, well not a racing game, but a track game. And we have to do five laps of that track you just saw. And if we do it, I think within five minutes we unlock a pagey. If we do it within two minutes thirty, we'll unlock another pagey. So I doubt I'm going to do two minutes thirty. I'm certainly going to try and do five minutes though. So you want to avoid the water. And the controls here are really, as you can see, tough to use. A couple of power-ups. Ah. Speed boost is pretty decent, apart from the fact that it makes things a lot harder to control. There's one power-up which reverses your controls. Personally, I don't see the point of that. So we're going to try and avoid it. We've got four more laps to do here. No! I hate reverse controls. Hate it. Fortunately, I do seem to die very quickly with it, so... Speed boost again. Wonderful. Try and dodge the orange fella. That means there's nothing but harm. And I'm trying to dodge that reverse controls thing as well. And we are two down. You go in the air, we go underneath you. Get speedy boosty. Oh, look at that. Making good time now. Now we was. Can you go in the air, please? Thank you. Uh-oh, reverse controls. Avoid. And again. 
Whoa. Just thought we'd go for a swim before we continue on here. What's this lap? Is it three or four? Oh dear, my worst one. Yeah, we missed it. Why does it keep trying to give me this reverse controls one? It's because it knows I hate it so much, I think. Look at that, three in one lap. Oh, we're all over the place. Last lap, so we've missed out on one page. We'll have to come back and do this again. But I won't um, torment you guys. I'll do that off camera, no doubt, off stream. Let's try and unlock at least one page from this dastardly attempt at this event. Okay, mate, I'll have to see what I'm doing. But if I can, I will. And over we go. And I think we're done. I think we're 30 seconds off. So we get our next page anyway. It's possible we might have enough now to either unlock another world or to expand the current world. Nope, go away. Right then, so we're going to head back to the temple because if you remember there was that page we saw earlier on, wasn't there? That was kind of split up. And actually, we should be able to help him out at this point. I mean, we could before. All oh, right, okay. Now, I was thinking that because he only just saved the scores afterwards, didn't he? So you just need to beat the timer, I guess, in order to unlock the first page, then try and get the second on your next attempt. So, yeah. But I don't think we missed out on anything, did we? Right then, so somewhere around here is the broken pagey. There's that dastardly cloud. <laughs> I think it's kind of in like an open cage or something. Oh, this is him over here, look. So we'll say hello to him. So there's three fragments we need to find, three page fragments. And once we've done that, we'll be able to earn our next page you hear. And there's a nice selection of quills we can gather as well while we're here. When we get to 60, we'll be able to purchase all of the abilities in this area because there's three in total, we've already got one, haven't we? Well, enemies galore here. We won't speak to Piggy just yet. Doing too much as it is already. We must have got that thing. Ah, so there's the first pagey piece. Oh, second. Okay, fair dues, fair dues. Oh, let's just grab these. So we still need to find the first and the third. Here's the first, I should think. Ah, oh, that's the third. Okay, so now we actually need to find the first. Or is it the fourth? Yeah, if I can make it, Sephi Roth, I'll certainly try to do so. Hot, hot, 
So we can see these floating platforms here. And they lead us directly to the third and final page. Or the and with that done, we'll go and speak to our little broken friend here. Torn friend. And there's our next page. Eh? I'm just running to that to collect it. And if we just come back into this area, and over here, in fact. So there's actually a collectible here, but I believe it's invisible. And we need the sonar blast. So let's go and grab that, shall we? Because we don't have it yet. So we'll go and speak to Trousers. Since we've got the quills to bite now. Sonar shot even. Not sonar blast. We'll have enough for the body slam shortly too, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, which order we get them in. That just determines which pages you go for first. So this is tied to our triangle. Joypad key. Okay, so we'll come out of the menu here. Let's move on through the dialogue, please. And we'll head back to that area where the pages were then. And if we use that new ability, there should be a ghost around here we can see. There it is. And that just leaves one more ghost writer for this world that we need to find. So. We're going to head back to that temple next.